Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeshua HaMashiach. We love you. We love you, Yahweh. This is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall in Northern California on Monday, April 9th, 2016. This is day five of laying out prostrate before the Lord. Just laying on the floor, praying, and then listening for him to respond. And I ask everybody to join me in this intercession. Not only petitioning the Lord for salvation of our lost loved ones and Psalm 91 protection and so many other things that the Holy Spirit places on our hearts when we pray. But also to, to listen for his still small voice. We're in an, an extreme time of prophetic revelation. So this is day five. While laying and after finishing all my prayers and crying out to him. I, just like I feel him right now. I began to listen. Just listening to him, being still and listening. And I had a vision. This is an amazing thing. We serve an amazing God. I had a vision. And it was a Bible. And the Bible appeared before me and just began to flap. All the pages began to flap like that. And I was shown a page number. And so I immediately got up and grabbed my Bible. I'm in my office where we have our home church. And I grabbed the, the King James Bible I preach out of. And I went to that page number. And it's Isaiah 13. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share this word of God. And then I'm going to share a dream my wife had Saturday. And I'm going to ask you to pray. So it's, it reads in Isaiah chapter 13, it reads, The burden of Babylon, Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. And verse 2 says, Lift up a banner upon the high mountain, exalt the voice unto them, shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. I'm going to go down to verse 5. I'm going to put a link in the description box for you to study and pray over. And verse 6 says, Howl, howl ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. There shall, therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. And they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. Like Matthew 24. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Verse 9. Behold the day of the Lord cometh. Cruel both with wrath and fierce anger. To lay the land desolate. And he shall destroy the sinners there of, out of it. 13.10. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof. Shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened. In his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. Matthew 24, 29, cross-reference, and Joel 2, 31, in time vision. And then I'm going to go down to verse 13, description the entire chapter in the description box. Therefore I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place, and the wrath of the Lord of hosts, and in the day of his fierce anger... Cross-reference Isaiah 34. Fifteen. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. It says be captured. And 19, it says, And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, as in the days of Lot. So I'm going to, 
And I'm going to now share a dream my wife had on Saturday. We've both been praying over it, and I was waiting for a confirmation. And so I feel that this is a confirmation to that. And so here is her dream, and it's short. She had a dream where she saw the Twin Towers in New York. Uh, that were brought down. She saw those two towers. And they were brought down. So that's already happened. And I was telling her. Well the Freedom Tower stands there. Now. So there's another building in their place. And it's taller than the other one. And she said the, the dream changed to. An area of New York. That she recognized. And buildings began to catch on fire. This is very significant. From the top. Not at the bottom or in the middle. But they were catching on fire on the top. And as, as she was shown these New York buildings on fire. They began to multiply and multiply. And as the dream ended. There were so many fires breaking out in New York. That in the dream they were not able to keep up with them. As the fires multiplied. And so we prayed over this. And, and uh, we were shown that this these fires started from above. That's significant. So you have to think, well, what, what could start a fire at the top and not the bottom? And be in prayer over that. Uh, that that's her dream and this vision. I ask you to share this, I ask you to read this, and I ask you to be in prayer. There's no other way to say this. The end of all things is at hand, and it's being shown to, to everyone. And I ask you, what are we doing about it? Some people are just waiting and waiting for Christ to return, and, and so am I. But while... The, the day is still day. You know, I still have time. I'm trying to reach as many people as I can and warn them. As the Bible commands to do. And I ask you to, to join me in prayer daily, every day. To prostrate. In intercession. And share. What the Lord shows you. God bless you.